Hi, you're listening to Small Things Often from the Gottman Institute, where we talk you through research-based tips to help improve your relationships in five minutes or less. Today's tip is about de-stressing. Say your partner had a horrible day, and now that they're home, all their stress about how they couldn't fix anything that went wrong today is making them want to talk about your relationship and any problem they noticed in the past 24 hours. But as luck would have it, you also had a horrible day, and unlike your partner, diving deep into your relationship is the last thing you feel like doing. Before you run for the hills, or your partner reads their very specific bulleted list of everything they want to fix in your relationship, you both need to de-stress. And you can do it together. It's an important conversation to have with your loved one. Why? Because you know when you're so stressed that you take your frustrations out on other people who have nothing to do with the reason why you're stressed, talking about your day can help. We call it a stress-reducing conversation, a form of dialogue where you listen to each other's venting with empathy and, this is a big one, without judgment or advice. So when we say listening, we really mean it. So keep your advice, or maybe you could try this, to yourself, because when you actually feel heard, Venting can be just what you need. Yeah, your boss can be a jerk, and that arrogant coworker, the worst. How many times can they talk about their gaudy new house in one day? Sometimes it feels good to just say it aloud to someone who really hears you. Say how ugly that house is. The point is, this conversation helps you and your loved one manage your external stress, not caused by your relationship so that you're not taking it out on each other or feeling like you need to fix each other's problems. So make this a ritual. When you reunite at the end of the day, open up about what happened. Support each other emotionally about other areas of your lives. There's a big asterisk on this conversation, though. You ready? This is not the time to tell your partner, friend, family member, or whoever about the issues you have within the relationship. You know why? If you're still in stress mode, that's probably going to affect how you respond. Even though it's always good to regularly open up about what you need and how you feel within your relationship, when you are both trying to de-stress and connect, this is not the right time to tell your spouse that you think their mom doesn't like you. It's time for you to listen about how this person cut them off in traffic and turn back to smile. Who does that? But you know what? If you want to talk about your relationship in this moment because you want to strengthen it, Just listening, empathizing, and validating your loved one's feelings at the end of the day can do wonders. Think of it this way. Instead of saying you love them, show it by giving them the time and space to be heard. So here's today's small thing. Practice listening to your loved one when you can tell they need to vent. Help them feel supported and heard. And watch the stress start to melt. Tune in to the next episode of Small Things Often for another quick tip from the Gottman Institute helping you maintain and strengthen all of your relationships.